So you're online, you're looking at information and thinking about moving to Spring, Texas, and you came across this video and this channel, and I'm so glad that you did, because this channel right here is dedicated to everything you'd wanna know about what it's like to live, work, eat, sleep, play, and thrive right here in Spring, Texas. So make sure you click that subscribe button and click the little bell as well, because you'll wanna be notified anytime we put out a new video. We are constantly updating this channel with great new videos about everything you would wanna know when thinking about moving to Spring, Texas. I am literally hearing from people every single day who are thinking about moving to Spring, people both from out of the area and people locally who are moving around the community here. So I've got your back when it comes to moving to Spring. If you're thinking about moving this way, you already live in Spring, give me a call, shoot me a text, comment below, send smoke signals, anything you can do to reach out to me today because I wanna get with you and let you know exactly what you'll need to know when thinking about moving to Spring. In this video today, we're gonna to go deep in great detail over the 19 things you absolutely must know before moving to spring in the greater Houston area. And make sure you stick around throughout the entire video because we're gonna go deep on topics from traffic, commuting, cost of living, sports, entertainment, dining, shopping, the Houston rodeo, and our incredibly beautiful, diverse community that we have here in the area. And hey, look, we have compiled this list after years of helping people buy and sell homes around the area. These are the common questions that seem to always come up from folks who are moving to the area or relocating within our community. Let's get right to it. So first up on our list is the intelligently designed highway infrastructure that surrounds the greater Houston area. So first, let's back out and get a 5,000 foot overview. Houston is set up like a big wagon wheel. You've got downtown Houston right in the middle, surrounded by three different loops that surround the city, expanding outward. Now from there, you've got different state highways and interstate highways that kind of fan out like spokes throughout this wagon wheel that are specifically designed to get you anywhere you wanna go. Now this part's a little tricky because this really tripped me up when I first moved to the area. So all of these different state highways and interstate highways and loops are gonna go by a couple of different nicknames, if you will. Let's take Interstate 10. Now Interstate 10 runs east and west and goes right through the middle of downtown Houston. But for instance, if you're on the west side of town and you're coming in from the west side, it's known as the Katy Freeway. Simple enough, you've got the little community of Katy out to the west of downtown, so coming in from that direction, Katy Freeway. On the other side, if you're headed east, you've got that known as the Baytown East Freeway. Similarly, the community of Baytown is out east of town. So everything flowing in from the east is referred to as the Baytown East Freeway. Okay, let's look at this thing from north to south. You've got Interstate 45 running north and south straight through downtown from the woodlands up north all the way down to Galveston at the coast. This seems simple enough because if you're coming in from the north side of town, I-45 is referred to as the North Freeway. Now, if you're headed out from downtown, headed south down to the Gulf Coast, you know, it's easy enough. I-45 headed southbound is referred to as the Gulf Freeway. Now let's break down these loops that we referred to. You've got three different loops expanding outward from downtown. Now the 610 loop is gonna be referred to as the inner loop. It's the innermost loop closest to downtown. So expanding outward from there, you come across the Sam Houston Tollway, also referred to as the Beltway 8. And the newest addition we have to this whole highway system is the Grand Parkway, which is the outermost loop that surrounds the city, referred to as Highway 99. Now this all seems simple enough, because if you've noticed, there's some geographical reference points with every one of these highways east side of town, west side of town. We're talking about different communities or different directions that you're headed, and that's how these nicknames have come up and come about. So it's easy enough, but if you really need a specific guide, check out this website. Go to HoustonNewcomersGuide.com and they've got a full list and reference for all of these streets, all of these highways, and all their nicknames associated with them as well. So don't let it trip you up. It's actually very strategically laid out and very easy to get around. Just plan accordingly because Houston is absolutely known for its traffic. Which brings us to our next point. You will need a car when you're moving to the spring in the greater Houston area, especially when you're out in the suburbs. It doesn't matter if you're commuting down into town for work or just trying to go up the road to the supermarket to buy a loaf of bread and a gallon of milk. Having a car is definitely gonna help you get around. Now there are some different ride share options through the Houston Metro system. And those are referred to as park and ride. And they have various different locations and parking lots where you can park your car for the day and jump on a Houston Metro bus to get down into town and save some money on gas. Alternatively, 
notably, it's set up where there are a number of different toll roads, HOV lanes, and express lanes that you can take advantage of for a small fee. So that brings us to point number three, make sure you get your toll tag here in the Houston area. We've got a couple of different toll tags available, the easy tag or the text tag. Either one of them are gonna work on all the different tollways and highway systems around the Houston area. Number three, make sure you get your toll tag. So the easiest way to get those toll tags is gonna be online. There's a couple of websites, one for each tag. So you can go online at txtag.org to purchase your text tag or hctra.org to purchase your easy tag. Skip the lines, get online, register your vehicle, you'll be all set and good to go. So let's change gears a little bit. Our fourth thing that you must know when moving to the spring or the greater Houston area, it gets hot. Now for some of you folks, that may be exactly the type of climate that you're looking for. You're looking to get rid of your snow shovel, trade in your winter coat for a pair of flip flops. This is gonna be the place for you. And really at the end of the day, it's not all that bad. Our average summer temperatures can range in the mid 90s throughout the summertime with August typically being our hottest month. And you might see about five to seven days out of the summer hitting those triple digits. But really the big kicker is our humidity. We're about an hour or so from the coast, so we do get those humid mornings. In fact, in the morning time, we've got about an average of 90% humidity, but that will decrease over the time during the day. So in the evenings, you're looking more about a 60% humidity, which really brings it down Nice cool evenings to sit outside, enjoy a glass of iced tea, and take in a beautiful Texas sunset. So sticking with the topic of weather, the fifth thing you'll wanna know is it rains, and it rains a lot. But the good news about that is our rain typically comes in heavy rainfalls. So it's not this typical Seattle hazy weather that you see where we've got long periods of rainy weather. Instead, when it comes, it comes in buckets and then it's out of here and we're back to blue sky days. So in a typical year around spring in the Houston area, you're gonna see about 50 to 53 inches of rain throughout the year. So you compare that to the US average of 38 inches of annual rainfall a year and Houston does get its fair share of rain. Now typically June is going to be our wettest month and on average we get about 104 days of rain throughout the year. So that's a lot lower than the northwest like the areas like Seattle which typically will see a lot more rainy days but still get a little bit less rain overall. So those periods of heavy rain will bring us to our next topic which includes flooding and hurricane season two important items that you definitely need to be aware of around the Houston area. But don't get too concerned because around the Houston area, we only see a hurricane about every nine years. Typically, hurricane season is gonna start June 1st and go all the way through the end of November. So in those months leading up to June 1st, it's always good to be prepared and stock up on supplies a little bit ahead of time. You always wanna keep things on hand like bottled water, batteries, non-perishable food items, always good things to have on hand in case we do have a little bit of an interruptance with our power, always good to be prepared. So yes, flooding can happen around the Houston area. Back in 2017 with Hurricane Harvey, interesting fact is that over 50% of the homes that did flood did not have flood insurance and weren't necessarily located in a high risk flood area. So this is another reason why it's highly important to team up with a local professional like myself who knows the area, knows the places in the flood zones and knows where to avoid, where to watch out for. And at the end of the day, item number seven, highly important, always purchase flood insurance. Now flood insurance is optional if you don't live in a high risk flood zone. If you do, your lender is gonna require it if you have a mortgage attached to your purchase, so that's gonna get taken care of anyways. However, if you're not in a high risk flood zone, I would still recommend purchasing flood insurance because the fact is it's too cheap not to buy. If you're not located in a flood zone, you're gonna be looking around 500 or 600 bucks a year to insure your home against any kind of water damage at all. And what's really good about that is it'll actually insure you up to $200,000 towards your structure and about $100,000 worth of personal property contents. So again, for five or 600 bucks a year, it just makes too much sense to not carry flood insurance. So the next item I wanna cover, number eight on our list, is that Spring in the greater Houston area is one of the best hospital cities in the entire United States. As a matter of fact, a recent study had us ranked ninth in the entire country in terms of our medical facilities. And down in the town of Houston, it's home to the Texas Medical Center, which is actually the nation's largest medical complex 
in the whole country. And in addition to that, there are a number of hospitals around the greater Houston area with an A plus or better rating. Areas like Kingwood, Tomball, Sugarland, Spring, or the Woodlands all have fantastic medical facilities, so you're never too far from outstanding medical care. Now, number nine is a big one, and it is a fact that Houston has a below average cost of living compared to the rest of the country, and here's why. Our housing costs are lower than the rest of the country. Our electric bills typically run lower. That's because the state of Texas is the only state in the country with a deregulated electrical grid. What that means is that power companies out there are literally competing to give you the best rate you can possibly find. And due to our booming natural gas economy, typically gas prices around here are pretty darn affordable as well. Now the one area that Houston probably ranks a little over average in terms of cost of living is going to be the food. Fair trade. So one thing I want to go back and hit on a little bit more are the average home prices around spring in the greater Houston area. So last year, our average home price was about $267,000. So that bottom line means your dollar is going to go a heck of a lot further here in spring in the greater Houston area than it will anywhere else. Now the beautiful piece about that is year over year, we appreciated seven and a half, almost 8% compared to the year before. So not only do we have incredibly affordable housing, it's a solid investment and your largest investment that you're gonna make with your family is a no brainer here in spring in the greater Houston area. So moving on just a little bit with item number 10, you'll definitely wanna know when you're shopping for your utility providers here around spring in the greater Houston area, there's an incredible website you absolutely have to check out and it's called powertochoose.org. You simply go to this website, you punch in your zip code and it'll pull up a huge list of all the different electric providers. You can compare plans, you can go with renewable energy, solar energy, anything you wanna do, but side by side you can line these companies up and compare the best plans possible for you and your family and pick out the most affordable option that you can find for your electric provider. So again, powertochoose.org. Need to know that website because it's crucial when it comes to saving you guys some money on your electric bills. So item number 11 that you need to know, and this affects everybody in the Lone Star State, but we have no state income tax, which is a beautiful thing because at the end of the day, it's about putting more money in your back pocket. Now I've heard a lot of folks that have moved from out of state have talked about how our property taxes may be a little bit higher than their home states where they come from, which very well may be the case. In addition to sales tax, we do have sales tax around here as well. But a lot of that gets offset. If we're looking at the bigger picture of your overall cost of living, affordability, how much money do you have in the bank at the end of the month, at the end of the year, at the end of your working life when you're ready to retire, having no state income tax is a beautiful thing and we're glad to have it here in the state of Texas. Moving down our list, we're here at item number 12, which is one of my personal favorites, sports. Houston loves their sports team. It's a well-known fact that no matter what sport, what team you're rooting for, we always love our hometown teams and we pour our heart and soul into them. As a matter of fact, we've got six different professional sports teams here in the greater Houston area. Now that's incredible because we've got teams for almost every sport under the sun. Baseball, basketball, football, soccer, and even rugby. I didn't know we had a rugby team, but turns out we do, and they're one of the best. Now, full disclosure, I grew up a Dallas sports fan, but don't let anybody else know about that. But after moving here back in 2015, I've got a huge place in my heart for all of our professional sports teams, especially our Astros. Now, I know there's a lot of concern or criticism out there about the Astros and their science dealing, which happens everywhere in baseball. But look, the fact is, after 2017, with Hurricane Harvey and everything else that this community went through, when the Astros took home the World Series championship, it's just hard not to love these guys. So no matter what sport you might love, I promise you there's a sports team and a great venue to go down and catch your favorite team and root them on home. Okay, so item 13 that you're gonna wanna know before moving to spring in the greater Houston area is the food here is absolutely legendary. We've got more options for barbecue, Tex-Mex, burgers, Cajun, seafood, or fine dining than you could possibly imagine. As a matter of fact, a recent article from US News and World Reports named the Houston area number seven in the country in terms of great places to eat. So no matter what you're looking for, I promise you there's a place for you. So item number 14 on our list of things you definitely want to know when considering a move to the spring or greater Houston area is we're only located about an hour away from Bluebell Creameries in Brenham, Texas. Now Bluebell ice cream has got to be world famous. They have over 250 different frozen products that they offer. Now 66 of those are going to be different ice cream flavors, which are all incredible. And I didn't know this, but 20 of those they offer year 
round and over two to three dozen different flavors that they change up seasonally depending on what time of year it is. So wherever you are, you gotta stop into a grocery store or go to the creameries up in Brenham and get you some Bluebell ice cream. So keeping with the theme of foods here that we've got going on, I'm gonna place item number 15 here, what I would consider our local grocery store, which is HEB. Now HEB was actually started over in San Antonio, Texas, but it's a Texas owned grocery store chain that sources all of their ingredients, all of their products from right here in the Lone Star State. Now what I found is you're either on one side of the fence. You're either a huge HEB fan or you could take it or leave it and you're just as happy shopping down the road at one of the Kroger grocery stores, which by the way, will save you a few cents of gallon on gas through their fuel rewards point system. But either way, you've got some great options for grocery stores, which are conveniently located and always sourced with the best products, including organic products, if that's your thing too. So item number 16 on our list, it's a well-known fact that the Houston area is also referred to as Space City. And why wouldn't we be? Because we're home to the NASA Johnson Space Center, which is a must do and a bucket list item on any Houstonian's to-do list. Now the NASA Space Center is located about an hour from spring, right down 45 towards League City. You'll want to check out Rocket Park, which is home to the original Mercury and Apollo rockets, various lunar modules, and space capsules flown by the legendary astronaut Gordon Cooper. It's a must see, the kids will love it, and it's a heck of an experience. So next up on the list at number 17, I would almost place as high on the list as NASA Space Center are the Bucky's gas stations and convenience stores located around the Houston area. Now this may seem kind of silly to you, but what you need to know is that Bucky's is almost the equivalent of the Willy Wonka's chocolate factory of gas stations and convenience stores. Just walking in the door is almost overwhelming. It's an absolute wonderland with items like homemade fudge, fresh baked goods, a meat counter, fresh barbecue, jams, jellies, all homemade with the Bucky's name on it. And don't forget to check out the souvenir shop and pick up your little stuffed beaver on the way out the door. And it's a well-known fact that Bucky's has the cleanest bathrooms in the entire state. So even if you're just road tripping through the area, make sure you stop at Bucky's if you need to empty out the tanks. Now, item 18 on our list is that Houston is home to arguably one of the greatest rodeo events in the entire country. The Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo happens in March every year and it goes for about three weeks. Now it's kicked off by the world famous Chili Cook-Off and spans over a period of 20 days featuring a championship rodeo, live music concerts every night of the week, an incredible carnival experience for the kids, and a ranch and wildlife expo. Now the Houston Rodeo has been in existence since 1931 and on average each year it has over 2.6 million attendees that show up to experience this incredible event. Now this is a heck of an undertaking and the Rodeo actually has an annual operating revenue of over $160 million and it takes over 33,000 volunteers to pull off such an incredible event. Now sadly, we haven't been able to experience the Rodeo event for the last couple of years due to COVID-19, but I know all the volunteers and incredible people that go into the behind the scenes of creating this incredible event are going to put on a heck of a show in 2022, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And so lastly, number 19. But I think, most importantly, Houston and the surrounding areas are considered to be one of the most culturally diverse cities in the entire country. In fact, most recently, the greater Houston area was ranked number two in the country, and that ranking was based on socioeconomical, cultural, economical, household, and religious diversities around the Houston area. Incredibly, there are over 145 different languages spoken around the greater Houston area. So in all seriousness, I think this is one fact that the greater Houston area community takes a great deal of pride in. And it's our cultural diversity that makes us unique, but also brings us together in one big community. So no matter where you are, what background you're coming from, Houston's a great place to call home, and this community will absolutely welcome you with open arms. So the truth is, there are tons of things that you might need to know before deciding to move to Spring or the greater Houston area, and that's exactly why you need to connect with a professional real estate agent like myself. So call me immediately, or even sooner, so we can get the process started and help you guys find a great new place to call home. Over the last few years, we've helped hundreds of families move to the spring area or relocate from other areas of the community and we absolutely love it. We know all the best places to get you plugged into the lifestyle that you're looking for. The market is hot and homes are flying off the shelf. And as a local professional, I know about the homes that are coming on the market even before they get listed, which is the prime position where you need to be in today's market. So make sure you call me directly, text me, send me an email, comment below, send up some smoke signals, get in touch with me any way that you can because your future depends on it. And I'm excited to connect with you. I'm excited to help you. I'm excited to get to know you and your family. And let's go out there and find a great new place for you to call home.